in three, two, one, let's go. I'm feeling very choir vibes in this situation. <laughs> There's my train. There's your train. Okay, so we are in Tallinn, the capital city of Estonia, on a trade mission. We came out all the way from Nairobi, which has sun, to this place that does not. And we are trying to figure out what life looks like for businesses, for our companies, for our relationships with folks, because we're trying to go global. And every day we're going to be doing this thing called Pass the Spoon. Pass the Spoon. That's what it is. Yeah. And everyone gets a moment to say what their reflections are because we want you all to come on this journey with us. Today is my turn to go first. Listen. Try to eat slow. I, you see the kind of people I hang around. You see how I'm stressed out. This is the challenges I face. Look, so today we had a conversation with a company that was part of building five unicorns in Estonia. And their perception of building something global and successful is different from mine. Yeah. Like, you know how it feels like a task? Yeah. You're, you're looking at it and it's like a distant hill. Yeah. The way our Kamba brothers say, no va, but you know it's like far away, <laughs> it's a distance. Yeah. That's how I've always perceived it. But these guys yeah. didn't perceive it that way. In fact, the way they are perceiving it, and you told us this when we were in the room and yes. you were there. Yeah, yeah. He said, we're looking for the sixth unicorn to build. Yeah. Yeah. They have a mindset where possibility isn't something that you have to think about, yeah, discuss, yeah. negotiate, yeah. look yeah. into or pray about, none of that. Yeah. All of those things are nice, but they're like, this is possible. We've done it five times before. Doing it a sixth time mm. is easy. Mm. And you know what it's taught me? Hang around people who believe it's possible. Yeah. Not around people who don't. You can't waste all your time convincing yourself and then convincing someone else mm -hmm. and then trying to convince someone else and yeah. someone else. Just yeah. find people who believe it. Yeah. And for me, this trip is all about people who are believing it. And I've really enjoyed that. Pass, Pass the spoon, bro. Pass the spoon. Who wants the spoon? Pass the spoon. Pass spoon. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I've taken the spoon. I love what it said. First and foremost, in case you're wondering why this bunch of weird guys have all come together. Yeah. It's because we have the same mindset, man. We have the same mindset, which is an I can mindset. Unbound. I can. Unbound. Unbound. But I just want to say a big shout out to each and every single one of you. We, we are reading your comments. We are loving the feedback and it is the heat, the motivation for us to continue. So today I left you guys. Ah, you care? What the heck? <laughs> I'm sorry. You were saying something? You care? What the heck? <laughs> I've never done that before. It just came to me. I enjoyed it though. Richie, I, I enjoyed it. You were saying. Uh, you were saying. You were saying. Okay. So I was talking about mindset. It's <laughs> <laughs> thrown you off. It's eh? thrown me off. No, no. It's not thrown me off. Okay. You have this, bro. You have so this. Let's do it. I left these guys. I went on a whole different uh, tangent today. So I left the group and I went to a public school. I went to a school, not a group of schools, not a Braber, not a Brace site, none of that. I went to a proper local government funded public school. And you know what I learned? What you learn? Today. Yeah. This guy start early, bro. Whoa. That mindset thing that you're talking about. Yeah. This guy start from the very, very okay. beginning. Yes. I went to this school, nothing... F I mean, this would be a Kilimani in Nairobi. Nothing against that. I'm just trying to give context. Right. I don't want you to think that I'm going to a Braban. Right. Full door in the court. Right. And it's not just the infrastructure. I entered a class. In this class, these guys were learning, and then they were learning VR. Yeah, yeah. So they were learning about London. Yeah, yeah. After learning about London, they then go into the VR class and they travel to London. Yeah, yeah. The chick started, the teacher started showing me about now robotics. How these guys, they don't start with the Legos in kindergarten. No. They start with small robotic Legos. All the way, by the time they're yeah. in class seven, they've moved to chips. Wow. I mean, this thing like was mind-blowing. Yeah, the teachers, the teachers have autonomy. They have more power. They're able to look and say, nah, we're not teaching this right now because we can see how it's affecting the mental health of the kids in the right. school. Let me just say what, what I learned, minus the digitalness that we know Estonia about, yeah. there's a value system, there's a start them off early mentality right. that these guys are have, yeah. and these guys are extremely intentional about. Pass the spoon? No, pass, pass the spoon. Pass the spoon. Who wants the spoon, man? Give me the spoon. Pass spoon. The spoon. <laughs> All right, now. Uh, you know the Kenyan motto is uh, Harambe, uh -huh. yes. and the the um, Kenya Sako movement uh -huh. has really, really brought about development yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. in yeah. our country. Right. It's a, it's a, it has done what banks cannot were not able to do. Mm. Yep. A veil yep. credit to that. Yep. That's right. But that thinking of cooperative movement yeah. is actually evident in these guys. And even in the meetings that we saw, mm. there's an ecosystem yeah. in the sense that uh, we talk about, we met this company, they say, yes, we know that person. Yeah. And because they yeah. share 
different things the with key, one another. The yes, key, they are the sharing key, they're and sharing. They, they, they share resources, right. they share they share Bring contacts. Our thing. Our yes, yeah. it's collective and, thinking. That's a collective and thing. even when we are connecting me to you, you know the way us guys say, oh, we've connected me to you, mm. you know, so what's my share in my connecting? It's mm. no. Mm. It's a value for them. Yeah. You know, it's something that they say, if I connect you to this person, yeah. I'm not going to ask for anything. Yeah. Mine is, they have helped you to get to where you need to be. <laughs> that cooperative thing, That's I'm just win. saying, yeah. I, we already have it. I've done, I just don't know how we can leverage we can it. Mm. it. Yes, yeah. we can harness it. All right, pass the spoon. 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 Today's, my, my lesson today is just on one word. What's the word? Futuristic. Right. Futuristic. Right. Yesterday, right. we came here and we said, Estonia is the most digitized society in the world. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's no lie. But what I had today, they are not thinking about today. They are not happy with where they are today. They are mm. thinking about many years from today. Mm. Right. But there is one thing that will make a difference in the future. Right. Yeah. Data. Mm. Data. That's it. They are obsessed with data. 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 In fact, in their words, data is the new gold. Yes. Data is the new gold. Yeah. And I realize, you know what? We can digitize our companies, we can digitize our countries today. Yeah. But if we don't think about data, yeah. we'll still be left behind. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. That is true. So I left thinking, you know, what do I need to switch? Yeah. Now, there is something that they say that was so key. Yeah. Digital twin. Oh yeah, we talked about digital twin. Digital twin, digital twin. Yeah. Yeah. Take that word, digital twin. Yeah. Unpack that first. Mm. Digital twin is where you create a virtual reality of the real thing. Ooh. You create another Esther yeah. virtually. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. this is where data comes in. I have the real, I have the real Esther, Esther and I have the virtual, virtual Esther. Esther. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I start collecting data yeah. from the real Esther. I see what it's is not working. That's right. yeah. What that's is right. not working? Right. Where, where are the bottlenecks? Yeah, that's right. And then, before I adjust the real thing, you this, adjust the virtual. I adjust the you, virtual. You see how good it is? Hey, 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 wait, wait, man. Wait. This is so good. Wait, man. Finish. Because we're going to use it. <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> you start testing yes, the virtual, the virtual mm -hmm. before you implement. You start seeing, one. you wait, you start seeing the future Esther Ooh. virtually, Ooh. and then you, when you perfect it, you go and sort out the you real blow the thing. Esther. Bro, I'm not even cold. That's too much heat. You, you know, <laughs> you see all these cities here. You see all these buildings here. Yeah. Over 40 buildings. Yeah. All of them. Plan. They are in their three. They are in, the, in their three D images. Yeah. They they can take you virtually through this. They are changing the roads. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. The they, these guys are so good that they even know which dustbins are filling up faster than yeah. others. Yeah. These dustbins, man! <laughs> My God! Yeah. All right. That's you know what? I'm so, getting cold. Wait. No, wait. <laughs> So, yeah. this is the lesson. This is not about Estonia. This is about our companies yes. and our country. Yes. And, yeah. our data. and our data. Yeah. This is the thing. Today, think about this thing. Creating a digital twin of yourself, mm. getting obsessed with the data, and getting obsessed with refining yourself to become the very best. Yep. Yes. And creating the most futuristic company or the most futuristic city, whatever it is. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. Digital Twin is the way to go. Give it to me! Digital Twin, unbound! <laughs>